Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is part 12 of our Azure DevOps series. Uh, in this video, we will see how to create a classic uh, release pipeline. So these are the classic ones where you have a UI and you use the tasks from the UI to create your pipelines. Uh, these will be deprecated soon. So uh, I wouldn't recommend you to create pipelines via these, uh, you know, classic uh, tasks and classic uh, pipelines and releases uh, i would rather uh, ask you to create your pipelines via your new uh, you know uh, yaml based pipelines uh, uh, that 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 are you know more uh, supported and it has more functionalities available and uh, microsoft is working on the you know improving your experience for the yaml pipelines all the time so it's it's the recommended way to use uh, use and deploy your pipelines be it build be it deploy uh, everything can be done by the same yaml uh, you know tasks so yes uh, for, but for this video we will be uh, using the old uh, classic uh, ui based tasks to create our pipeline uh, what i'm gonna do is i'll just quickly create a pipeline that will have an azure cli task and uh, i'll just uh, run a quick uh, azcli command to fetch me the resource group and yeah that that would be just you know give you an overall idea how the classic pipeline would look like so currently we don't have any uh, we'll create a new one and if you see i'll create an empty job and yeah i'll name the stage as get rg name I, uh, this is just you know i'm trying to fetch the resource group name let me add a task agent job display name can be same uh, you can change the agent pool i'll select azure pipelines you can select any of the agent specification that you want for your pipelines then you add a task uh, let me search for azure cli that's my azure cli task i'll provide my arm connection string uh, i'll be using this service connection and this service connection uh, has permissions on my subscription if i show you in a new window my service connections so this is the one that we are using And I'll run a partial command in line actually partial code and I'll just pass the azcli command so it's just a basic az group list and then I'll query the name and location and I'll have an output as tsv so this i just want to you know show you how this will look like and how you run it but this is a very basic uh, release pipeline the old classic release pipeline i'll create a new release and you can see the release one has been created so uh, microsoft has made some improvements that's what they're letting us know here uh, your pipelines and how how you can have multi-stage and all those configured it gives you lots of details now uh, within your you know the tasks that you see uh, the ui will show you everything be it environments so environments is a way to control uh, or you know, uh, you know have approval gates and all so this is a pre and post deployment approval gates so if you want an approval before running a task or before running a stage or after you can configure that you can link your work items you can have logs that is in progress like i'll show you when i run my pipeline and you can have your test results if you have any of the tests in your pipeline you can do that so this is our uh, pipeline that we ran it ran successfully if we see the logs this can be seen at runtime as well if i click on my logs if you go down you will see uh, your cli is up to date and then it 
authenticates and it fetches me the resource group and the location so our pipeline ran successfully we uh, ran our azure cli command and uh, just this is just a very simple uh, example of a release in the classic pipelines uh, similarly you can uh, run uh, any 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 kind of pipelines like deploying a python app deploying a node.js and the first stage is where you add the artifact that's that's where your build pipeline would be this is where you change your pipeline name and saved so uh, let me show you how to you know uh, disable this classic pipelines if you go to settings project settings scroll down then you can disable creation of classic build and classic release pipelines when this is an you know when this is enabled as in the creation is disabled uh, you can run your existing ones but you won't be able to create new ones so if I, if I go back to my pipelines releases these are the yaml ones but we are looking for the classic so you go to the releases and you can see creation of new release pipeline via the classic ui is disabled so creating importing release pipelines is disabled contact your project organization administrator for details so that's how you create a classic pipeline and that's how you disable creation of any classic build and release pipelines in your organization thanks for watching and keep supporting